Guys, it's hard if you hear the fan in the background, but I finally found our hull penetration. It's in the damn ring. There it is there. There's your hydraulics on that side. It is not just a nut I kept asking about. It is actually the hull penetration. Here are the hydraulic lines. From this side, this, this profile looks weird, right? But keep an eye on it. It'll hit it one more time. It's only for a second, and I'll be able to snatch it for you. Right there, it's, it's not a giant nut I'm looking for. It is the hole penetration. So here's your hole penetration. Do we see a fracture around there, upon there? Not really. Um, I don't see a fracture of the ball or anything out of it, however this connection is. So uh, that, that's of interest to you. And I got another one for you. So there it is below. So they didn't go through the dome because it's a radius. That radius is not as predictable as this as far as hole penetrations go. Oh, he just put his hand on it. I didn't get this far in the video, guys. You know the way I do it. So this is the, uh, the, the cowling. And I want to know if he blew his airbags up. I can't tell from here. But it's very interesting as you watch TikTok and everybody else, the whole thing caves in caves in and breaks apart well for some reason this gets a freebie the, the shell the other part caves in and it just ejects off like a kite in the wind um, I'm trying to trying to get there from here as we say someone corrected me when I said oh, look the tape they're holding it together with tape to bring it down and they said no they think they're holding put the tape there to hide the uh, Titans name uh, we both could be right Could be something else though. All right, next ring up. There's the ring with the metal coming off. Okay. Next ring. He grabs hold of that ring, that metal, pushes it with his hand, pushing it out of the way. And then we have our our skids that are supposed to come off. Um, I think I determined this was the, oh gosh, I forgot now, it was front or back, but I figured it out. I think it's the front because, lo and behold, I think this is the camera. Maybe that's lo and behold, you know, it might be too, too dramatic. I have to put my dress on as I tell people that I want to be all dramatic in the show. Well, I think it is the front, and that's what? That's that jack I talked about earlier that I said, what, is, what do you got to do with that jack to get the frame off? You got to jack the frame off. To get it off. One of the women here in the comments enjoyed it. She gave me a nice little giggle. I appreciate that. My humor. So as it turns, we now see it's not just that. It's part of the jacking system. But now look. Wait for it. Come across the fence. And right there. Okay. All right. So now as I zoom in on this, you see there is a... This one has a nut on it. It's going to thunderstorm in the background, guys. This is like a little a, a hole, a uh, flat section. All right, don't get excited yet. Flat sec section, but it's got a, a shiny ring on it. No shiny ring there. Okay, so this, this is the make after the making. And so this look like this. You see the little bit of lippage right there? Well, that could be the lippage right there. I don't know if it could be the ring, meaning the glass blew out of this, because it would show the glass what? Well, first off, this glass would be being held in by the wedge shape, this wedge shape internal, so that shape is married to, the glass is married to the shape, or is it not? Did they put, is it a small lippage around here that they, that they anchor it to? Remember, there's only small lippage, that's it, you're getting... You're getting downward force with this little bit of lippage. I don't think they drilled through the plexiglass. I don't know that to be true. It's uh, whatever millimeters it is. Let me, that's that one. This is what it looks like inside profile. Look how huge that ring, that uh, clip is that holds it. Pretty significant, isn't it? And there's the dome part of it. So that's not here on the left. 
So are we, are you going to argue or are we arguing, we, arguing that this is this lip and that the dome, well, when internal and, 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 and fractured, well, the pressure there fractured it apart and threw shards, shards, shards of glass, plexiglass, and high pressure water into the back of the vessel. Um, and uh, supercharging it to go forward like a bottle rocket from this direction. Are we saying this is the weak point? They brought up this dome. This dome is good. We did not see the rear dome. Um, so, at least they hid it in the bag. But then here's this one. Right? Did they take this apart down, down below? On the 13,000 feet down, right? 13,000 feet down? Did they have a tooling on there to unbolt this? To remove the glass and then put the strap through it and bring it up. But this already has hooks on it, just so you know. They can hook on to it. So if the theory would say that this glass was not unbolted because this has a ring. They could have ringed on. Wait, oh, wait a minute, just a door. The door might be to get something off that other side to hinge. But the door it is another part over here to grab hold of, too. So I would think they'd be able to grab hold of it. So here's my, this is how they, they made the two ends. Can you guys tell me what you're looking at? What, what is this? What is this? What is this? And what is this? All right, well, we see that this is okay here. So whatever, whichever one is whichever one, it's not the front one. The front one, the front one held up. We're looking at it. There's inspection. I believe there's your flashlight inspection. And there's the, uh, the guy that cries about it. he can stick a flashlight through it per the newspaper saying they can stick a flashlight through it and see through it. All right, I don't know what rent, rent rendition this is that he's seeing. In the background, I'm going to go over tomorrow's video, this flooring. In this video, I want you to see the hole penetration. Right there. Hydraulic pumping was done somewhere about here. Once you open that door up, there was a hydraulic pump that pumped this system up that was able to get the legs off, jack those legs off. Okay, so legs come off. We still got to separate the hull from the rear of the vessel and a shearing capacity across the balls. How do we get there from here? How do we get here, there, from here? Which side is the glue side? This side or that side? You can see during the failure that inside, this has now been sheared clean. I don't think any of the mechanics here or whatever, the crew, recovery crew, broke this off cleanly. I think this is part of the uh, one and done. You're out of here. As we look at it, is this the glue side, or is that the glue side over there? One's the uh, hull side that screws down, clamps it down, and one is the tube side. So, without going through the window here, there is a connection here. Somewhere here they could have jewelry rigged up and down below to grab hold of it. So, looks like the glass went south during this failure. But it came out. And it took the ring with it. I don't see the sh that ring. I don't see that thick ring here. That's mine. You can come up with your own answer. Remember the thick ring I showed you? That's the back ring or front ring. See the, uh, let me sorry, back ring. And so if it's coming up, that means the glue side is where? Well, 
oddly enough, looks like glue right there. See the patchy spot? Looks like the glue side is where we're facing it. So this is the whole side, I think right here, between here and here, and that's the part we're looking at how it tear, tore apart. We don't see any remaining glue here, so we see glue here. So it appears the glue debonded pretty damn good off the metal. So so much for that glue working, or peanut butter as he called it, whatever the hell he called it. You know, again, we're looking at it from a distance photograph, so... You know, right now, I like to debunk myself that I leave open that a more fine detail on close-up image will show glue all the way around. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, what cameras can do. You can see they tied to the ring on that one to pull it up. The existing ring, clearly they could have gotten through here too, but they shackle right on that real easily. And off it goes. And there it comes, and there is your... All penetration right there. For all you people to say it's Bluetooth, well, am I going to get an apology here? Of course not, because you guys are childish. You don't know how to be an adult. You're not like me. You don't know how to be mature how I am, you fuck nuts. Anyway, I was just trolling there, having a good time. People tell, oh, it's Bluetooth. You can connect all this stuff through Bluetooth. I'm like, oh, how do I answer these children? Some of them are 35, I'm sure. Where they say it's Bluetooth, all of us, you got to get your whole penetrations for a sample like this pump that he did. Or did they think Bluetooth? I mean, really, this is, I have a joke, guys, some of you newcomers. I have a joke that says, pretty soon I'll, start be able to I'll be able to tell this joke. Where I say, hey, do you know what about the Civil War, United States, and, you know, had a Civil War, and North, what, the South? I said, the only reason why the South lost is that the, uh, the, uh, the towers went down when they were trying to communicate with their cell phones. And they couldn't get communication across different locations. And so because of their uh, internet went down, you know, that's why the South lost. So pretty soon I'll be able to tell it to people and they'll say, oh, no shit. They'll start believing it. For the people to think you could do all this in Bluetooth, that this was done in Bluetooth. Of course, they won't show up and apologize and make fun of themselves because they don't know how to make fun of themselves. You know, they're not taught how to tease themselves to learn from their own mistakes by making fun, by saying, oh, that was a fuck up. Like a man right here, if he stood underneath it, they're not leaning away from it. It's, yo, dude, if this thing slips, you're going to lose a foot. You're gonna be, your, your wife's going to be divorced. And then he would step back going, oh, my gosh, what a dumbass I am. And he would step back and lean into it like that. So that's why you see him reaching out. It gives him a chance to move away still. Well, again, we're looking at a non non-issue here. Now... They heard fraction and cracking. This is great. We don't see it here on the ring. We don't have the real hole, though, and we don't have where it might connect. He heard frack. Well, he might have heard fracking, uh, fracking, cracking. But we do see that peeled part off, considering that they put it up, bought it up like that. That piece of metal, it shows an outward explosion. Oh, my gosh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to trigger some people. I'm going to get them so upset. That that metal there not is is not folded in. Where is that long piece of metal? That that implosion shows more like an explosion when it finally happens. Because it's still a it's still a piece of metal here blown out. It's still a um, uh, elastic until it's no longer. Forces build up and then out they go. So this is your unwinding right here. And it would be a direction of the forces, so you would you would say that the blast force, if you were gonna look at this unwinding, was somewhere between here, and if I roll this back around, it would be there. So I'd pick like here to here. And if I could triangulate this turnbuckle, if I cared to do that, I'd say that your forces are somewhere center line here, and this act as the back the uh, backstop for a minute for the uh, Claymore mine that this became. Um, looking at the unwinding part. Okay, could they get there another way? Sure, as it blasts off, it could grab part of the ring, part of the ring and roll it out. Oh, wait a minute, could this be the ring for the shell? 
and then when the shell goes off and rolls down like a quarter or a dime down the down the uh, beach, the underwater beach, that would be the bottom of the uh, 13,000 feet, the beach down there. I think you guys called it, somebody called it what, the stuff that was in the way, uh, snow, ocean snow or something? Well, how about you like mine? It's uh, the beach down there. So it rolls down the beach, but when it rolls down the beach, it, it tears off the rim that you know that little band is holding it it's part of it and it rolls down the beach that way and i don't know where it is they highly bought it up or not interesting piece there right all right so this sort of ends this video there is again your whole penetration your whole penetration not not all of it not not whole but whole okay enjoy this one Love you guys. Again, always a shout out to my cat people. I love somebody. Somebody just sent me another donation. I bought some cat food today. I do have a small video clip for that. Mm, yeah, I guess I should find it and put it in here. So let's get to that clip. And then this is my showing you that uh love you guys. Thank you. And cats are going to be awesomely loving you. Hey, you are guys. My cat sponsors. Really appreciate you guys. Here's the wet food and some liver stuff up here. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. There's a $70 bill right there. That's not it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Appreciate you guys. You you just fed, there's the food. You just fed the the strays that I've picked up. Well, they picked up us now, right? They got you too. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. They have little lovely little feet of theirs. We'll see them in future videos. Thank you.